Hey guys, how are you? It is Savvy Tech Girl. Not very good writing, am I? How's everybody doing today? I wanted to talk about something that gets people a little bit confused. I want to talk about the cloud. Okay, what is the cloud. We hear people talk about it all the time. We hear people mention the cloud. What is it? What does it actually do? So the cloud, to give you an example, could be, um, let's say Google. It could be iCloud. So this would be Google Drive, right? iCloud, uh, Dropbox. Okay. It could be um, Microsoft One, it's OneDrive. Okay. So it is going to ask you to create a username, name, and a password. Once you create your username and password for one of these accounts, and you can use it for things like Google, say photos. Uh, you can use it for files, right? Google Pages. Okay, so things like that um, in the background. Now, what we do, sorry, my dog's barking in the background there. What we do is we have, um, this is home. Okay, this is office, and this over here is summer. It's the cottage, provided we have internet access. Okay, provided you have internet access. You can have a computer at home you can have a device in the office and you can have a device at the cottage. So this could be a PC, it could be a laptop, maybe it's a tablet, maybe it's a smartphone, okay? Any device that has the ability to access the internet. So if you're working on this computer at home and you've got all these files and you want to save them but you want to be able to access it from the office and you don't want to take your computer back and forth all the time. If you save it up to the cloud, okay, with one of your username and passwords, right, because we've created that for whatever account we're going to use, and now you've gone to the office, right? Now you're going to work. There's nothing on this machine. So this machine has no files. It has programs, okay? It obviously has the internet. Um, so Safari or Edge or Internet Explorer it has programs and applications, but it doesn't have any files. Now all you do is you log in to whichever iCloud.com and you are now accessing all of your files. Okay? So they actually, you can download them onto your computer, but you're really reading them off of the cloud. So this cloud here is where your files remain. Alright? Now when you go then to the cottage, and you've got a device, let's even say it's a tablet. Okay, once again, you log in to your account, whatever it is, iCloud, um, it may be Microsoft, whoever you decide to use, and now you can grab your files. So your files remain on the cloud, and the reason we call it a cloud, I. I would say best 
way to describe it is it's above us. So when you have a computer system set up, you have a main computer, which is the cloud, right, up here. And then below, you have all these other computers. So we've got one here, and one here, and one here. And they're all below. And then below that, you've got computers. One here, and one here, and one here, and one here. So this is the cloud. It's above us. And that's why we call it a cloud. So um, things that, like I say, Google Photos, Google Pages, um, Dropbox, they're all cloud-based. You are storing your files, your files, on a server, not, not your PC. Okay, so that's what you need to remember. If you're going to use a cloud-based storage properly, you are going to save the information on the cloud based and not on your computer. If you have a pro if you have a file on your computer and you save it to the cloud and then you go to the cloud and you pull that file down and make changes at your office on that file and save it on your computer, now the file that's in the cloud is not up to date. So if you're using the cloud, save the files in the cloud. Therefore wherever you go whether it be the cottage, whether it be the office, or whether it be at home, you always, my friends, have access to your files. So that, in a nutshell, is what the cloud is. I hope you understand it. It looks a little crazy. I just wanted to draw it out for you. Please give me feedback. SavvyTechGirl at gmail.com. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at SavvyTechGirl. And I have a website, SavvyTechGirl.com. Obviously, I'm on Facebook, Facebook.com forward slash SavvyTechGirl. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. We'll see you soon. Bye.